Hello, sports fans and baseball fans, and especially fans of Action PC Baseball. I am here with another Action PC Baseball game from our 1930 Washington Senators season. The Senators are at game uh, 49 right now. We've played 48, and we have a record of 31-17, and 17, and we're winning the American League by... Uh, two games over the Cleveland Indians and the Detroit Tigers. And um, we are 26 games ahead of the lowly Boston Red Sox, who are 6-44. and 44. And today we're going to be playing the Chicago White Sox, who are 19-27 and 27 currently, and just in front of Boston. Not really just in front of Boston. They're way ahead of Boston, but at 6-44, and 44, everybody would be. No one in their right mind would bet against the Chicago White Sox. Um, and so, with that, we are going to get on with the game. And uh, our game is the only one that needs yet to be played. Uh, you can see some of these results up here. I'll give you a second to look and see what happened in these games. But we are going to get on with our Senators game against uh, the heavily underdogged White Sox. And the White Sox are going to be controlled by the computer. I will be controlled um, controlling the, white, the uh, Washington Senators since it is a Senators season that I am replaying. And we will use the computer lineup as I always do. And we will go out to the field and play ball. Welcome to Comiskey Park. So we're in Comiskey. We're the visitors. And West is the batter. And it looks like he's going to have a base hit. He's got himself a base hit. So we got the first guy aboard. And uh, that brings up Sam Rice. And Sam Rice is going deep, 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 but it's going to be a fly ball. <laughs> so there's one down. I mean, not a lot of home. Well, no, actually, there were a ton of home runs hit in the 30s. And 19, in fact, in 1930 was the biggest offensive year, I think, in baseball. That was a liner back to the pitcher, though. And uh, the old Cronin, Joe Cronin, is the batter, and he is going to line out to short. So we will take the field defensively. We have Goslin in left, West in center, Rice in right. Um, and then ar around the uh, infield, we've got Bluge at third, Cronin at short, Meyer at second. And let me, who is that at first? Hey, uh, um, Hayes, I think Hayes at first. And uh, Spencer is going to be behind the plate with Kerr up at the up at the plate right now for Boston and we're pitching to him and that looks like it'll be a fly out to Rice or to uh, West and there's one down and Watwood is up Sam Watwood and he is going to fly out to right field there will be two down very quickly with uh Smeed Jolly up at the plate loved Smeed Jolly <laughs> And it looks like he might foul out, and no, he doesn't. It was out of it was out of play, and so now he's going to fly out to West. So that was the uh, first inning completed, and it's zero zero going to the top of the second. Ted Lyons is out there pitching for the White Sox, and um, yeah, we will get going with that. And that was a nice, nice poke, but it's out to the right fielder for one out. And uh, Ozzy Bluj is the batter, and he's going to dribble it up the middle. Is he safe? Looks like he is on a bad play. And so that brings up Jackie Hayes, the first baseman. And what happened there? Uh, they're going to throw over, but Hayes is still up. They're going to throw over again. 
And then Jackie Hayes is going to hit into, no, not a double play. It looks like he'll be safe at first. And so there are two down, and Roy Spencer, the catcher, at the plate. And he's going to get a base hit to the outfield. And that is going to move Hayes over to third. So we've got runners at the corners with two down and Bobby Burke, the pitcher. And Bobby Burke is going to fly, he's going to foul out. So he fouls out, and the uh, White Sox are now up at the plate with Carl Reynolds batting against Bobby Burke. And that's going to be a line out to second base. Bill Sissel, the second baseman, is up, and he's going to hit one right up the middle. So they have a man on with one down. And... Bud Clancy, the first baseman, going to dribble it to, well, it looks like he's dribbled it foul, so he's going to have another shot. He's going to hit a fly ball out to right field, but there's a poor play out there, and uh, yeah, so they've got runners at first and second with uh, still only one down, and Irv Jeffries, the third baseman, and he is going to fly out to west in center. So there's two down with runners at first and second. And Chick Autry, the catcher for the White Sox, is up and he hits it to the outfield. The right fielder charges in. Are they going to send somebody? Um, let's see. Autry, single between the, um, out chance is 8%. I'm going to say no. We'll let them score. They take a one nothing lead. And Ted Lyons is the batter. And he should be out. Is he? He is indeed. So we are back at the plate. Uh, the White Sox, though, have taken a one nothing lead. And Sam West is the batter. We're back at the top of the lineup, and he is going to bounce out to shortstop, it looks like. And he does. And that brings Sam Rice to the plate. And it looks like he's going to bounce out to second base. And he does. And that brings Goose Goslin up. And he was out, and so the White Sox are back in. In charge, back at the plate with uh, Kerr up at the plate. And that's going to be a line out to shortstop. Johnny Watwood, their center fielder, is up. And he is going to send it out to the um, out to west and center. And that was a double. Somehow that was a double. And Smead Jolly is going to be out. There's two down quickly. And Carl Reynolds up. And he's going to pop out. Probably. to No, he doesn't. It, there was a foul ball, and it was too far back, and they end up walking him. So Bill Sissel is up. And that is going to be, what's that going to be? A, a pass ball, probably. So runners are at second and third now for the White Sox. Um, and we haven't been doing well lately, actually, either. That looks like a base hit that scores at least at least a run and uh, probably two. And it will be two runs. Like I the wrong week to quit drinking. So the White Sox take a 3 nothing lead here. Bud Clancy up. I think we're, we're self-destructing right now. And I may have to go get some... Ah, uh, man. I may have to go get relief. All, 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 just about already. Irv Jeffries is up, and that's going to be a bounce out to the shortstop. Should be the last out of the inning, and it is. Joe Cronin is up, and we're down 3 nothing. We find ourselves down 3 nothing, But Cronin walks, which brings up Meyer. And Meyer is going to hit into a double play. Looks like he did, and he did. And Ozzie Bluge is up. I'm going to try to get our pitcher. He even forgot his name. I'm going to try to get him through the next inning here. Um, 
although Hayes is still as Hayes is up. Oh, he was safe. All right. So we got a man at first two down. They throw over to try to get him, and they do. They picked him off. So I am gonna I'm gonna try to get Bobby Burke through this inning. Autry is up. And then uh, when he comes up next inning, I am going to pinch hit for him. Lyons is batting. He's going to bounce out to second. That is two down, and Kerr is the batter. And he's going to fly out to right. So, yeah, uh, no, Hayes is up. So we'll let Hayes hit, and he's going to end up walking. Now what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, or wait, no, that's the cat. The Spencer is the catcher, so we'll let him hit too. And he does get a base hit, so we got the first two guys on. And I am going to, um, yeah, for Burke, I'm going to pinch hit for Burke. So, and I do want to do that. And so Lope is up now. We have two men on. And he's going to hit the ball deep to center field. But it's going to be playable and and out and uh, safe chance. Yeah, we're going to take that. We're going to take that chance. So we got runners at the corners with um, one down and Sam West back at the start of the lineup. But he's going to bounce out. Safe chance, ninety four percent. We're going to go yes. And he does beat it out on the on the uh, other end of the possible double play. That gives us a run. So now we have a run, and um, Sam Rice is up. And he's going to bounce out. And that is going to be it, but we need to put in a new pitcher. So we go to our roster again. We go to the pitchers. And... Um, I'm going to bring in Lloyd Brown. Yeah. So Lloyd Brown is out there now. And we've got a ground ball to third and one out. And Smeed Jolly is up. And Smeed Jolly, it looks like, is going to fly out to right or out to left. And that is two down, and Carl Reynolds is the batter. And that's going to be an out. So, we have... A 3-1 deficit that we've got to overcome here in the top of the sixth with Goose Goslin batting. And it looks like he's going to bounce out to third. So there's one away and Joe Cronin up. Joe Cronin is going to fly out to center. So there's two down quickly and Buddy Meyer up. And he's going to be out. So... We went quickly there. We're not doing well. This is, I mean, this White Sox team is not a very good team, and we're losing 3-1 to them. Uh, Lloyd Brown still on the mound. Of course, this was back in the 30s. Pitchers could pitch a long time. Even relievers could go probably four innings. But that's assuming he doesn't get into too much trouble, and he just allowed a base hit. So they've got a man at first with no outs. And uh, that's going to be a deep, deep, Deep fly ball, but the right fielder grabs it, and so that should be the first out, and it is. Irv Jeffries is up, and Irv Jeffries is going to have a base hit. So the White Sox have runners at first and second with only one out, and Chick Autry, the catcher, is up. Looks like he's going to bounce out. Great play. He's going to bounce out to short, and it might be a double play which we need sorely, and that is exactly what happened. So Ozzy Bluge is up here in the top of the seventh. We're losing 3-1. We need some base hits and base runners. He flies out, though, 
and Jackie Hayes is the batter. Jackie Hayes is going to fly out to center, and that brings Roy Spencer to the plate. And he walks, so now I got a tough decision, except really it isn't. Uh, Brown has been pitching well, and there's already two outs anyway, and Brown might have gone deep. Did Brown go deep? Did the pitcher hit a home run? He did. Brown ties the game with a two-run home run. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? I'm going to take it. It's 3-3, and uh, West is up. And West is going to hit a deep fly ball to left field for the out. And Brown, our hero, is still out there on the mound. Um, and the pitcher is batting. That's Lions, but do they let him? Yeah, they're going to let him. But he's going to line it right down the right field line. He, whoa, no. No, I guess it was a foul ball. So he's going to bounce out, hopefully, to shortstop for the out. And he does. And uh, John Kerr is the batter, the shortstop for the White Sox. He's going to line out to uh, first base and was potentially injured. And Watwood is the batter for the White Sox. And he's going to bounce out. No, he doesn't bounce out. There was a bad play on that. So Smeed Jolly is the batter. And Smeed Jolly, it looks like, is going to potentially pop out to the catcher. Web gem, yes, and that's exactly what happened. So the White Sox are back in the field. We're up in the top of the eighth inning, and we are in a tie game with Sam Rice batting. And he's going to bounce it up the middle, but that's going to be an out. The shortstop gets him, and Goose Goslin is up. Lions is still out there pitching. Of course, like I said, this was 1930. Pitchers pitched till their arms fell off. We've got two outs, and it looks like that's going to be the third with a fly out to center. So we go to the bottom of the eighth with um, Carl Reynolds batting against Lou Sweet Lou Brown, who hit the two-run home run that tied the game. And he, um, the first batter flies out to right field, and Bill Sissel's up. Bill Sissel's going to bounce out to the catcher. And was that an out? Yes, it was. And Bud Clancy, the batter. And Bud Clancy is going to fly out, and he does. Ted Lyons is still on the mound, and we're here in the, in the top of the ninth inning with Buddy Meyer up. And Buddy Meyer walks. That brings up Ozzie Blue Edge. And he's going to bounce out, hopefully not into a double play, but it looks like it is. And it is. And so Jackie Hayes is the batter, and it looks like that might be a foul ball. It is. And instead, he's going to hit a fly ball to left field. And we go to the bottom of the ninth. If the White Sox can get a run here, they win the game. Irv Jeffries is up. I got my man still pitching Lou Brown because we want him hitting again because he hit a home run that tied the game. Chick Autry, the catcher, is at the plate, and he's going to fly out to left. There's two down quickly for the White Sox, and Ted Lyons, and they're letting Ted Lyons hit, and Ted Lyons gets a base hit to right field. And Hannafield is up. That's going to be a, a base hit to left. Do they have runners only at first and second? Um, let's see. Out chance, 4%. No. So it is going to be runners at the corners. But there's two down, and uh, i got to just rely on the fact that we're going to get this last out with Johnny Watwood up. And no, we're not. And the White Sox are going to win and beat us. Unbelievable. The White Sox beat us 4-3. Well, that was very discouraging. So here's the... Uh, Here's the box score that you're looking at. Um, take a, I'll let you take a second and look at the what the batters did. Then we'll look at the pitching. Uh, for Brown, he went four and two-thirds and allowed one earned run, and he also had a two-run homer. Uh, but it wasn't enough. wasn't enough to save us. Lyons went the distance. He went nine. He allowed four hits and walked four. But that's still only eight men allowed on in nine innings. And so the uh, Burke's ERA goes to 396. Browns goes to 415. 
and Lions is goes to 338. And there is uh, the quick box score things that happened, but we lost the game. That's the important thing to remember. And so now, let's see when it adjusts, because it's going to adjust it. And so now we're only a game and a half up on Cleveland and Detroit, and only two and a half up on the Yankees. So the walls are closing in on us. We've been bad lately. And, uh, you know, when you're losing to a team that was 19 and 27, that's that's bad. And so I'm going to leave you with that thought. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.